and I'm gone. Oh, and I'm back. Just like that. Steve O'Shaughnessy, I already know. I do love you, but I should. What's up, y'all? It's the Steve O Show. Y'all already know. Here to do another review, unboxing on the product I got from my No 10. But I haven't ordered it yet. You know, I'm an Amazon Prime user. So I got to order it real quick. So y'all give me a hot little second to get on Amazon real quick. All right. Note 10 accessories. Yep. All right. That's my debit card. Bam. Dang, they say it should be here in no time. Real quick. Well, I guess we'll just wait for it to show up real quick. I don't want to keep y'all waiting and all that. So, we should be waiting on it. Oh! There we go. That was fast. Amazon Prime is on point. Review. That one. Unboxing. Uh, unbagging. Amazon Prime. Super duper fast. God dang, y'all. I love being an Amazon Prime member. I thought I was going to need my knife, but I don't. But let's get straight to it, see what we got for the Note 10. I'm an Amazon Super Duper Prime member. And we got Fast Wireless Charging Car Dock. Bam! So, if y'all don't know, my extended battery, I got my uh, AutoBox back on here. I love the way it feels. This auto box is amazing. So I'm sticking with my auto box. And this is my extended battery case from Zero Lemon. Unfortunately, I didn't like it. It only charged my battery up once. Like, if it got down to 15% and I charged my battery with me still using my phone, the whole charger only brought my phone up to like 70, 80%. And usually I used to get like two or three charges out of there, so it don't work good. That's not, I don't like that. Only one charge throughout the day, that's not going to work. So I'm sending this back, taking this to UPS in the morning. It got to go. Get my money back. So this is my next option. I went with a wireless charging port. Because while I'm driving and all that, my phone can be charging. You know, I'm a truck driver, so my phone sitting on this and charging at the same time. I shouldn't still have to worry about a charger. All I don't have to worry about is charging, making sure the wireless ain't charging. But I hope the charge lasts long on this wireless point port because if it don't, that's gonna be a problem. But as long as that stay charged throughout the day and it charge my phone throughout the day, and I ain't gotta be worried about no 10, 15 percent. I don't like being below 50. I'm spoiled. I like mine to be at least 80, 90 percent of all time. If you get to 50, I'm trying to charge it back up to 100. Get to 60, matter of fact. I try to charge it back up to 100. I don't like my phone being low. I be, I gotta, I don't like it. So let's go ahead and check it out. <sighs> Cut away. And while I'm doing this, y'all, you take the time to subscribe to my channel, The Steve O Show. And don't forget to click the bell so you receive notification every time I upload a video. The notification comes right to your phone like, boom, Steve O Show just dropped another video. You go ahead and watch it, like it, leave some comments, give me some feedback on it. You know what I'm saying? Participate in a Steve-O show. I appreciate it. And if you want to donate, you can click the link on my YouTube channel. You can go to my Instagram, the Steve-O show. It's a link in my bio for the, the link to the show and a link to donate to my show. You want to support my show, I highly appreciate that. But you can look me up, the Steve-O show on Twitter, the Steve-O show on Instagram, the Steve-O show on Facebook. Like my page on uh, on Facebook, The Steve O Show. T H A S T E V O S H O W. The Steve O Show. So let's get back to this. All right. So I do come with a charger. USB to the. Ooh, this the same charger as the Note. 
me check that out real quick. This is the wireless port. Okay, it's a little thick. Of course, it's got to be thick for the wireless thing on there. And I read it ain't got it got a whole bunch of reviews on this. Nothing. All reviews was good. That's why I went with this one. And people say it holds it in place. It moves around and it it don't the phone is steady in place. It don't drop your phone or nothing. So I read a whole bunch of reviews. Everybody saying the same thing. That's why I went with this. And I definitely be leaving a link in my description to purchase this if anybody is interested in getting this. Uh, wireless, fast wireless charging car dot. It's a fast wire. I had to get a fast wireless because these phones, this is a 30 watt, this is a super fast charger. They ain't making super fast chargers yet, so 30 watt. This is a 10 watt fast charger. So it should still give me enough boost that I need, but it ain't going to get that super fast charger like the original charger is for this. So can't wait till they do make some super fast chargers out there. Like this, but most of that stuff goes to about eighty dollars. Be a little expensive. Let me see what we got here. They gave me a little ribbon. Mm hmm Got me a ribbon. This is our instruction and user manual. Who reads those these days? So that's pretty much it. Let's see what the box is talking about. Fast charging. Charging protection, 360 degree rotation. Okay, 100% original product. All right, 100% OG. Uh huh. Uh, how do you say that? Chotec, C H O E T E C H. Chotec, Chotec. Power to the best. Okay, so that's the model. That's in 10 watts max. A little concerned about the 10 watts. I say that can hold up to 30 watts to charge this phone. So I am curious about the 10 watts. I don't know. So hmm. stable design prevents your phone from slipping and falling down while driving. Featuring overcharging, overheating, short circuit, and overcurrent protection. Scratch and check. Eighteen month warranty. So I've got a warranty on it for eighteen months. Of course, with Amazon, you get at least thirty days. You can return and get your money back. So we definitely go into a trial run with this. So first thing first. It looked like the same charger. Oh, it's a thick wire. It's heavy duty right there. This wire is thick. But let's make sure. Okay. The same port for the Note 10. But I try to use my S8 charger. They got the AUX to the USB-C. And it didn't charge my phone. So I don't know if that one went out already. I ain't try to plug it back up to my S8. But it still was good when I last used it. So I don't know if you can't charge a phone because it got an AUX to the USB-C. Because the charger that comes with Note 10 is a USB-C on both sides to get that super fast charging. So it looked like the AUX is chunking the deuce. But we're about to find out if it's... I already charged. Let me charge it up from the bottom down here. Of course, it didn't come with no plug. Let's see. That's tight. Okay. So, yeah. It does lock in place with this screw. That's pretty good. I don't know. Let me see what this one locks. Okay. So, you got. For whatever reason, you want to bring it closer to you, as far as I, depending on what kind of vehicle you got, whatever situation you got. With me driving an 18 wheeler, I'm definitely going to have to stretch it all the way out so I can be able to control it and all that. So that locks. Go in and out. That locks. 
this another screw. If you can move it around with this, tighten it back up. Let me see. Yep. So all these parts locked in place. You can lock this in place. Oh, I put that on a tight. Up and down, locks in place. And this little feature right here locks in place. So to move that around, it, you can loosen it up or lock it. Depending on how you got to sit up in your car, you know. Some of them fit pretty funny in vehicles. So let's go ahead and slide this in. All right. Okay. So I got a little button here. Put that in. I guess for small phones, bigger phones. I got a Note 10 Plus, so I already know I got to leave that out. And I'm pretty sure this button's for the sides. Okay, that moves pretty smooth. No, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's smooth right there. Gonna get the phone in there. What I like about it, too, is this, this little material right here. That's why... It keeps your phone in place. This material has got good grip to it. So let's do a grip test. Make sure it's all the way closed. Make sure that's all the way. Let me tighten this up first. I don't want to break it. But <laughs> that came off of there. So maybe I ain't like that in. Let me see. Let me try that again. So, did that not lock? So, I guess if you was to slide it up like that, that's the way to take it off. But, that do come off pretty easy with that. But, for the most part, if you drive, let me see. So, it's going to be on a window like that. Dang, I put that on that tight. All right, so if that's on there like that, it's basically gonna be looking at me. Let me see. Probably like this, huh? So we move it down like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna have it in my truck like this, exactly like that. So let's tighten it up right there. So I'm pretty sure I hope that you don't hit no bumps to make that pop out like that because it's really don't lock in there too good, I must say. So that's the only chance of it coming off is through that. So let me hold it right here. But like I say, this part right here definitely is locked on. It's not going nowhere. So the only chance of a guy that's following is for this to come off like that so I definitely give it a test 18 really pretty much drive smooth so I don't got to deal with a lot of bumping and and all that stuff so it should be good quality of this let me see this I won't take that plastic off but that's how it's going to stick to the mirror that locks okay that's just basically when you put it on there you got to twist it a lot most of them have like a little clamp clamp it in when you lock it but this is a twist action so it seems pretty doable this part right here is definitely definitely 10 out of 10 and this all this movement and all that like I say it should be it's ready for whatever any situation you know what I'm saying if I wanna really just leave it like this and lock it in there I could put some Gorilla Glue up in there and stick it in there and bam, it ain't going nowhere for sure. So, and I wouldn't have no problem with that because this one whole piece can stay like that. It ain't too many times. It really never, I have to take this off and, and move it around. So, if I do have a problem with it moving around like that, I'll just throw some Gorilla Glue on there and call it a day. You don't have to worry about that moving ever again with some Gorilla Glue. So, take it off. 
easy move it off. Let me give it a little way. Hold on. Let me do it a little better. Wish I had like a little fake mirror. I can kind of not a fake mirror, but a display mirror. I can sample it on. But for the most part, I need my phone. Hit that button right there. Comes off. So it's, it's gonna be pretty good, pretty handy. Give it a little 10 out of 10 so far, but like I said, I got to get on that road, try it out, and first I got to make sure it's going to charge my phone. Where is the plug? There go the plug. Alright, let's charge this up real quick, because it's not charging my phone, so it didn't come charged. So let me see how this going to go. Okay, the green light just blinked. Let me show y'all. So I'm pretty sure when it charges all the way up, that's gonna turn green. I assume. Surprised it ain't red right now. But make sure that the wireless part can charge my phone through the case. That's the key. There we go. It's charging right now. It say one hour and forty two minutes until full at 41 percent so okay and then the green light come on as it's charging but give y'all another look at that yep just like that so it definitely worked through the autobox case but most cases nowadays come with these phones they made for the wireless charge because why would they sell a case that don't let your wireless charge. Nobody gonna want the case because a lot of people are using these wireless chargers now. And the green light come on, let you know it's charging also. Okay. So I'm curious when I get to work, start working and all that and out and about, I can kind of see how good it's gonna last. So as long as I got this mountain though mounted, my phone gonna be charging. I like that. And like I say the most important thing is how long this thing gonna stay charged without this plug and what I'm thinking about it is does it have to be plugged up the whole time while I got it hooked up I ain't looked that up y'all so I don't know I'm to me I assume that it's charging right now but I hope that I don't have to keep this plugged up for the wireless charge to work Cause if so, then I gotta go get me a car charger that that fits into the uh, the cigarette lighter thing. I don't know what that thing's called, but you know the one that goes in. Ooh, that's a good question. And I think I'm pretty sure that it gotta keep the wire. Yep. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have to keep this charged up, plugged up in the truck in order to get the wireless charger. So I went through my head like, if it's a wireless charger, why do we need a wire? Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm gonna leave it on there for a while and see if it eventually stay charged. Cause I don't think it says anything in here about it being charged or how long it stay charging. Yep, correct. Connect the wireless charger dock to the cigarette lighter power adapter with a USB cable attached. Insert the cigarette lighter power adapter into the socket of your car wall socket. Yep. So I'm definitely going to have to keep that plugged up. I don't like that. But it might still get the job done for what I need. We shall see. If not, I'm gonna be making another video of another unboxing for something for my Note 10. Like that screensaver, y'all. Look at that. That screensaver go hard, huh? I like that. It's pretty cool. So that's it for the wire charge. For the most part, I like it. I like the whole setup. It seems like it's gonna hold my phone in there. It's got good grip. Only thing I don't like is Having to keep this plugged up the whole time. I thought I'd be able to charge this up, 
plug it up there and get a certain amount of time of charging thing. But like I say, let me go a couple of weeks at work and see how handy it is for me. But I think for the most part, I should be able to keep it. I shouldn't need to take any other routes. So besides that, I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for the fast wireless charging car dock. And I hope that 10 watts charge on my Note 10 pretty good. So, should be keeping it. Zero limit extended battery case going back, to U uh, going back to UPS tomorrow. Sending it back to Japan, China, wherever it came from. I think it came from Japan or something. But it's going back. Got to go. The address is far away. That's all I know. So, hey, thank you all for tuning in for the Steve-O Show. Y'all got any uh, feedback, any comments? Y'all want to know about this? Y'all can talk to me. And I'll let y'all know throughout the day. Uh, a couple of days from now, you leave a comment. I can let you know how it's working out if you're curious about it. Because, hey, it might can work 100% good for whatever y'all got. Especially y'all Uber drivers, y'all Lyft drivers. I think that'll work good because you can leave that charged up in your car. And your phone's gonna be charging the whole time while you're out there Ubering the lift. As long as the uh, charge can keep up with the map and the radio being on the whole time, it's perfect for an Uber Lyft driver. You know, I drive Uber Lyft, so that's another reason why I wanted something like this. So, like I say, I gotta go through all the situations, scenarios with this charger to see how much I do like it. But I do give it a 9 out of 10. Gonna definitely come in handy. So like I say, thank y'all for tuning in. It's another episode of the Steve O Show unboxing review on this car. I think I got the thing. On the wireless, super fast, not super fast, the fast wireless charging dock for my car. So hey, it's going down. It's the Steve O Show. Y'all already know. I do.